Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm at the NWFA show in St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm with Dan Natkin, who's the Senior Director of Residential Products with Mannington Mills. Dan, how you doing? I'm doing great, Kemp. How are you? Good. You've got some big news that I want to talk about in just a minute about your prevailing in a legal contest around copyrights. We'll get to that in just a minute. Before we talk about that, let's talk about this show. You come every year, and when you come to this show, it's not really to sell products, is it? No, Surfaces is really our big selling event. This is more to support the NWFA, which is an outstanding organization. They do a better job in training people than any other organization we're involved with to show that we're in the industry, to support the industry, and support the wood flooring business overall. And the people that come by your space here, are they mostly contractors, or who do you see? Uh, We end up seeing a fair number of retailers coming through and looking for trends. We do see a fair number of contractors as well. And then it's always like old home week as well, seeing all of our uh, friends in the industry. Just to point out, yesterday I saw several NFA members. You know, most people know NFA are those independent retailers that are on top of the game doing you know, roughly about $15, $20 million a piece. And several of them were here. I was surprised to see that because they had to fly to St. Louis to get here. Yeah, absolutely. We saw quite a few of them yesterday. Saw a lot of large retailers, which has been an evolution. This used to be a heavily contractor-focused show, but we're seeing more and more retailers every year. All right, so let's talk about this win you've just gotten in the court system. There's been a copyright infringement case that's been going on for several years, and the last time I heard about it, you had lost that round, and now it's gone up to the next level in the federal court system, and you've just been handed a victory in the appeal, right? Yeah, that's correct. We disagreed with the lower court's ruling. We've maintained all along that this copyright was valid. We appealed to the 11th Circuit Court. The 11th Circuit Court sided with us. They said, yes, this is an original work and that our copyright is fully valid. And they've now remanded it to the lower court and they have to respect our copyright. Now, this judge in Georgia that ruled against you, Harold Murphy, he's approaching 90 years old and has very thick glasses. He was appointed to the bench by Jimmy Carter. He's kind of a colorful district court guy, and I thought it was interesting. When he was ruling against you, what he said from his bench was that you could not copyright nature, and that's not what you were trying to do, was it? No. In this particular case, we took raw white maple boards, and we hand-scraped them and hand-stained them and did all kinds of special distressing effects to create what became the final design that we called Time Crafted Maple. We were not trying to copyright nature. We weren't taking this raw board. We were doing all of these artistic things to make it unique. And that's what we've argued all along, is that we weren't copying nature. The opposition was arguing the opposite, and ultimately we prevailed in the higher level courts. And this company that you were against in this case actually had a product that looked very much like yours, didn't it? It didn't look very much like ours. It was an exact copy. And that was how this whole case originated. We found it out in the market. We asked them to stop selling an exact copy of our product, and they took us to court to try and invalidate our copyright. All right, so some people would wonder, I know there's been a lot of money spent in this case. When you do this and you've got, you know, one product, is it worth it to fight a major federal case for one product? I talked to you about this yesterday, and it's really a precedent-setting situation, and this is why you've taken it this far, right? Everything we do is around original design. That is one of our core competencies. It's, it's really what makes Mannington different. So this isn't about one design. It's about our ability to protect our designs across category and keep people from infringing our copyright. And in this day when we have global sourcing and we have digital imaging, it's very easy for somebody to knock off somebody else's look. All you have to do is scan it, right? Absolutely. It is not difficult to knock off a look. You know, a good high-quality scanner and some existing original product can definitely uh, produce a a pretty reliable knockoff. So your people, like Joe Amato, you go into your laboratories, your design areas, you create these looks, and you want to be able to protect those unique looks that you come up with, right? Over the course of a year or two years, we might look at 20, 30, 40 different designs, and we go through a lot of work filtering those designs down through voice of customer analysis and market analysis to the point that we might get to four, five, six designs. Uh, We spend a tremendous amount of money doing that, a lot of research, and then we go out in the market. Sometimes we have winners, sometimes we have losers. We like to think we have more winners than losers, but we don't get to choose. The market chooses those winners and losers. In the case of these copyright infringers, 
they get to pick only the winners and have a much lower cost of doing this. So that's the whole reason copyright law exists, is to protect people that come up with unique and original design work. Now, with this victory you have on this copyright situation, is, is there any more appeal that can happen, or are we done now? This can go on for a while. So basically what happens after this, the decision of Judge Murphy is reversed. It's remanded back to Judge Murphy for a uh, jury trial now in Georgia. Let's presume that we prevail on that. That can then go back up to the 11th Circuit on appeal. This could go all the way to the Supreme Court. And it's a phenomenally interesting case because it revolves around some pretty unique aspects in copyright law. Very interesting. Well, congratulations on this part of the win. Again, been talking to Dan Natkin, who's the Senior Director of Residential Products at Mannington, about the news yesterday that Mannington has won their copyright infringement case. And you've been listening to Kempar and Floridelli.net.